What's up guys, it's Sean, aka High Roller 1969 What's up? Coming at you today. Uh, I want to explain something that had happened and I'm going to uh, show you how to fix it. Uh, we're going to play a little bit of a guessing game here. Earlier today, uh, actually about a week ago, <laughs> but earlier today I decided to really start to fix at this. Uh, you're driving on the road and your brake gets extremely hard. I mean, like your pedal is like rock hard. Now, a couple months ago, uh, the back tire, the back passenger tire got really hot and the back brake was dragging. So, of course, I checked my e-brake and everything else and nope, nope, wasn't e-brake or nothing. Uh, the pedal itself felt okay. Uh, however, uh, up until recently, the pedal got extremely hard and uh, was real difficult to push down on. It was hard to stop the car. So, uh, with knowing that right now, uh, also the pedal hardly had any movement as well. With knowing that, stop this video right here, right now, and enter a comment at the bottom. I'm very curious to see what your guys' theory is. Um, and then I'll tell you what my theory was. So, go ahead, hit pause, comment at the bottom. Okay, so, first thing that I checked that I assumed was that there was a problem because this brake booster and master cylinder are obviously not from 1969. Uh, the booster itself is actually out of a Chevelle, and... The uh, master cylinder itself is actually out of a uh, Corvette uh, of that time period. Uh, well, around that time period. Now, um, with that being said, oh, and the proportion of valve is just street rod, cool stuff. But anyways, uh, with that being said, uh, I decided to check the push rod between the brakes, between the brake booster and master cylinder. Uh, I checked that on the length. I just wanted to make sure that it was still moving freely. Uh, I took the booster off. I cleaned up the booster. I actually painted it today. It looks really pretty. Um, I think I'll show you. But yeah, yeah. Hey, here here's a picture of it or a little video of it. So I went ahead and I changed. I changed the master cylinder, but obviously I'm still having some sort of issue. There's some problem here. So, now today, uh, this was like really getting on my nerves, so I decided, okay, well maybe I have some air in the system or something, maybe I'll bleed the brakes or, you know, see if there's a kink in the line or something. So, long story short was I had my wife jump in the car, she pushed on the brakes real hard, nothing was coming back out of the back. Nothing, no flow from the back tires. So, all, I know all of my line is all brand new from, the, from up here all the way back to the rear axle. However, back at the rear axle, I found this. Yes, this. This guy. Yeah. This is a collapsed brake line. Now, if you look at it, okay, it has absolutely no signs of damage. But it's still considered a collapsed brake line. I'm trying to blow through this here. And there's nothing coming out. There's no air. Um, there's just nothing coming out of this. Uh, this is from 1969. So what, what initially happens is somewhere inside the brake line here, uh, it starts to deteriorate, starts to break up over time, over the years. This was the one freaking hose I did not replace on the whole car. All right. So the lazy man and the cheap man are, is always the one that's going to spend more money and work the hardest. So remember that the lazy man works the hardest. Because now I had to go back and redo this crap, and I, you know, the one freaking brake line that was not replaced on the car, this bastard right here. So what it happened, what happens is when that, that te deterioration starts to happen on the inside here, is uh, it'll actually clog itself up. It'll collapse and then deteriorate, and then it becomes a big pile of doggy doo doo that gets jammed up somewhere right around here is what I'm assuming. Uh, but anyway or another. Uh, let's continue on with this here, and we're going to do an awesome tutorial as to how to bleed brakes by yourself at 11 o'clock at night. Alright, what we have here is we have a, uh, a can over there, well, a, a jar or quart of uh, brake fluid. It's about halfway full right now after refilling the master cylinder today. Uh, right here we have a, a hose line, and we just have a uh, little bleeder end. But you really don't have to have this. I just, I don't know. I just have it because I have it. 
Um, and this is just a zip tie tied around it just so it doesn't leak on me. So, uh, one thing that you have to do here is you have to make sure that this is going to be higher than this right here. So, what I have to do is I have to get this whole entire hose here completely filled up. Once this hose fills up, uh, you'll see a little siphon started. So I'm just going to give this a squeeze. I'll crack this open. Uh, this does not have to be airtight. But, we're just trying to get some fluid through here. Sometimes you could suck on it, but this is all nasty and wet and gross. So, who the hell wants to do that? There we go. See that? There. Okay. We have good flow now. Okay, perfect. Now you want to make sure that a big majority of this air is out of that line here. Okay, we're going to stick that in there. Uh, you have a vice grip over here, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to go underneath the car here. Uh, I'll I'm, I'll film the other side here, but not this one. Uh, but we're going to go underneath the car here, we're going to crack the bleeder open, and we're going to stick this inside of the bleeder. We're going to go run right through the rim. Got the bleeder cracked. I went about a half a turn. There. Okay. Now, this is definitely preferred to do it with a clear hose. Uh, I'm not using the clear hose, obviously. I'm using this like clear yellowish color hose here. But now what I'm going to do is I want to just uh, get this hose up here a little bit higher. That way it's not swooped down like the way it is right now. I'm just using a chair. Um, if your hose isn't... I got like 16 miles of hose here. It's completely unnecessary. Uh, you don't need this, all this hose, but uh, a lot of times you can set it on top of the vehicle if you feel comfortable with this. Just a huge warning, it's not recommended because brake fluid will completely destroy your shit. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push on the brakes now. And we're going to get some good flow. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I can definitely feel it on the brake pedal. Just pump slow. You're going to push all that air right out of the lines. Because I had removed the master cylinder already, I'm going to go about 20 pumps per wheel. Now, if this was clear, you definitely would love it because you'd be able to check for, uh, for air in the system. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to go check the uh, front reservoir. I'm going to make sure that I still have enough fluid in there, and I'll continue pumping. Because we already have this loaded with fluid, we really don't want to break that siphon. Like, that's fantastic. So I'm just going to take a vice grip, I'm going to just uh, pinch it off a little bit here. Oh, we lost one of our garage lights, it'll turn back on here a bit. Okay. 
Let's go under the car. Now that we have that line over there already pinched off, uh, I gave this thing probably about 30 pumps or so. Uh, you can see uh, how it just sit, sits right in there real nice. Now what you do, I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Before I take that line off, so I want to close the valve up just by hand, just finger tight. Okay, now the, the valve's off, or that line's off, okay, take your socket socket, and just snug it down, there, don't make your bleeders crazy tight, god do I hate that, okay, let's get some focus action. There, nice and tight, pretty dry. There's a little bit of brake fluid there, but I'm not. I'm not going to show any concern about it. It's fine. So, this is what it looks like under the Pontiac here. Boy, oh boy, she's sexy. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, Now we're going to go to the front. We're going to check our uh, master cylinder, make sure we still got fluid. So it's difficult trying to do this all one handed. But as we can tell, we are about three quarters of the way down. Right there. Now back over here. Back over here, guys. Make sure that these are put back into place upon covering it. Okay, that's all back on. On the round deck red. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel. We're going to go over something on this truck for a little bit. <laughs> All right. Next side. And of course, ladies and gents, don't forget, the whole entire time while you're doing your brakes, or bleeding them, make sure you do not run out of fluid. If you run out of fluid in your uh, master cylinder, then you gotta start it all over again. Also, do as I say, don't do as I do. And what I'm saying with that is I am kind of recycling the, the brake fluid that I have here. And the reason I'm doing that, the reason why I'm doing that is because the brake fluid that I have here uh, that's already previously in the vehicle was, uh, I don't know, maybe about nine hours old. So... It's okay because earlier today I did do a complete flushing of the system here. Uh, I just had to finish it off and uh, do a rebleed. So, uh, yeah. So, 
Now that we are finished here, we have bled our brakes, and I feel pretty confident in the pedal. I think that the pedal is really up there. I think it feels really good. Uh, but before you go for a ride, you want to make sure to pump the brakes and make sure that you are happy with everything. So, here's our brakey pedal right there. And I have that much movement. I feel very, very confident in it. So now, start up the car. Two little pumps of gas. Give her some more gas. Come on, baby. Ha. She hasn't been started today. This is a new day, by the way. So like I said, she hasn't been started today. It's a new day, but I do feel very happy and uh, confident in, uh, in our brake pedal situation here. Uh, let's check out what we got going on here, guys. 752 and a half miles on this car since I uh, did the restoration on it. Oil pressure at idle is great. We got a full tank of gas. Our voltage is a little low, so we're gonna pick that up. Just trying to show you guys my boy. There we go. Oh, no we don't. There. I'm gonna pick that up a little bit. Yeah, everything's working. Water temp is low, obviously, because, well, we just started on the car for the first time today yeah. Pontiac rolling so anyways right back here you have it the procedure the procedure for uh, leading the brakes is very simple uh, even even if you are by yourself, even if you are by yourself, uh, it's still a pretty simple task. Um, feel confident in it, guys. And just really uh, take your time and you know watch my video several times if you have to. Uh, pretty much just make sure that your bleeder's cracked. Uh, make sure that you have fluid going into that hose there. Uh, make sure that you have at least uh, half of half of a container full of brake fluid. Uh, this also works well on clutches as well. Um, so you could do it the same exact way as if you're bleeding the clutch, as if you're bleeding the brakes. Check out my clutch bleeded video. It was actually one of my first car videos, uh, tutorials as to how to's. And I got like well over 100,000 views on that. That's, that, that's freaking awesome. That rocks out. Ah. Uh, Guys, I want to say thank you, everybody. I have over 300, 300 subscribers now, and nothing but positivity and nothing but love from everybody. I wonder where the shadow is coming from, right here. Oh, but it's from outside. Oh, I shut our door. So, anyways, there. That's much better. So anyways, guys, like I was saying, I have over 300 subscribers now, and I am extremely, extremely thankful to every single one of my subscribers. Guys, if you like this vi these videos of mine, um, minus the shakiness, <laughs> minus the shakiness, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends. I really, really hope that it's helpful to people. Um, that's, that's all I'm trying to do. I know that there's a lot of people that say that there's better ways to do it and they know this and they know that. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. You know what? You could show that on your own YouTube channel. Uh, however, um, if you do know of any, uh, better ways to do things, by all means, please share them at the bottom of the page or on the bottom of my video here. Um, you know, it's, it's not anybody being cocky. It's not me being cocky or anything like that. Uh, but 
if you know of a better way to do something, by all means, post it down there. It, it can really help somebody out. It can help me out. Uh, that's what it's all about. It's just helping out each other, uh, being there for one another, answering questions. Uh, you know, I, I try to answer everybody, you know, as much as I can. Uh, so make sure if you cannot get me on here on YouTube, find me on Google Plus, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Links at the bottom under here. It's always links at the bottom. Just look down. So anyways, uh, I don't think I'm going to take my car out tonight for a ride because I'm working on that Little Red Express tonight. And that's in the garage right now. And that's got fresh paint on it. And I just don't want to leave it until I'm, you know, until I'm confident and finished with it. But anyways, guys, this is the updated Pontiac. Uh, remember, last time I showed you guys it wasn't as clean or as, as uh, nice. Right now, the biggest thing that I have wrong with this car is... I have an acorn on the floor. A half of an acorn. So, that's my indication. Of course, rodents. Rodents are trying to make a home out of here, but that shit's not going to happen. Check out my little LED light. I love this thing. Bling, bling. Uh, I got, got the back seats in and done. Uh, the last time I did a video for you guys, this car was nowhere near as cool as as complete as it is right now. Um, I, I still got to put my stereo in, man, and I still have to put a TV in the dash. But anyway or another, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. You are all badass. You guys are all awesome. Please keep up the good work. Please keep on turning around. I was just about to shut this light off. But if I do, then you guys aren't going to see me. Please keep on. Oh, well. Please keep, whoa, this camera's badass. Turning wrenches, <laughs> staying positive, taking care of one another, loving each other, sharing like uh, knowledge of videos and sharing ways to do cool things. It's a full moon out tonight, look at that. This camera is capturing it just beautifully tonight. I love it. Uh, yeah, so guys, hit me up anytime. Sean O'Brien, high roll in 1969, I am out. Peace. I love you.